And here's the next generation of heroes. Please welcome from the class of 24 world record holder Daniel Whiffen, Olympic champion Kelly Harrington, and world champion Reese McGlinahan! <laughs> Welcome to the show, guys. What, what, what is this, Daniel? Is this something I can, is this something I can smoke, or what's the? <laughs> what, what is this? It's the male summer of the world championships. Wow. Okay. If someone can just there we go. We'll just put that in front of me there and pretend somebody looking like me has won something like that. That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, so you've got you got some other medals yeah, as well. Two golds, yeah. There we go. These are from the world championship. Yeah, just from last week. Yeah. Great, uh, Reese. You've got. From two separate years, uh, both of my world title wins there. OK. Yeah. And, uh, and we've got another one here. Uh, th th this <laughs> one. Uh, th this one here, I, b I believe, Kelly, this is called a, an Olympic gold winning medal. <laughs> there we go. You want to be careful now, we'll be over to Turkey in a <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, it's, it's properly heavy. I've never held one of these in my life. It's, uh, do, where do you keep this? Just in that little, of a little pouch thing, and it goes everywhere, wherever, <laughs> wherever. Like, there's no, nowhere really. Do you, do you bring it to the pub? No, because I don't go to the pub. Oh, like. you don't go to the pub, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Olympic athletes, don't go to the pub. You're too busy. Uh, Daniel, um, if, if anyone has been living under a rock this past few months, you've had an amazing, an amazing time. Tell us uh, what the last few months has been for you. Yeah, it's been, it's been pretty crazy. Um, so, I mean, we just go back to December. We were at this European Championships and we became triple European champion. The last day we broke the inch of freestyle world record. And then just last week, becoming double world champion uh, and Ireland's first ever world championship medal. Pretty amazing. <laughs> you thought you were going well doing Jai January and off crisp for Lent, didn't you? <laughs> it's, uh, that is absolutely amazing. You were, you were, however, running on toast, is that right, whenever you, you won these? Yeah, off the world record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was not having a good morning that morning. Yeah, I was in the toilet, throwing up. <laughs> but, but yeah, we, we made it work, and uh, I had my brother to support me as well. He was giving me some abuse while I was in the, the toilet, telling me that I'm making it up, something like that. But, Could but, he not smell it? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we got the job done anyway. <laughs> the job done being the race, not the, <laughs> not the job. Not the job. I'm so sorry, Kelly. I'm so sorry. I need to grow up. I need to grow up. Uh, Reese, we've got to thank you for, for being my stunt double tonight. How good was that? Earlier on. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about either. I mean, I was just busting some moves. Was it a, I'm assuming that's a career highlight, standing in for a man over 50 who can barely touch his toes. <laughs> well, of course. Of course, everybody who's walking in knows wearing the disguise. They didn't recognise me. They had no idea. <laughs> they had no idea. Um, looking back on, on your journey, were you always destined to kind of be, uh, you know, a gymnast? I mean, you were walking on your, on your hands from what age? Yeah, I mean, since I was maybe six years old, I was walking about the house on my hands. I, it would be like a fun game I'd play where, you know, like the floor is lava, but I would have to walk around the house on my hands. I'll just show you. So I'd be like sitting on the co sofa, and my mum would call me for dinner. Well, sure, I'll be, I'll be your mum. Yeah. I'll be your mum. I'm sitting watching gymnastics <laughs> on the TV right okay. now. Race your dinners ready. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's amazing. What you cook me? What you cook me? Chicken nuggets and chips. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, now, look, this is awkward, uh, Kelly, because obviously I don't want to put, you know, the two boys down, but, but you're the only one with the Olympic. <laughs> <laughs> with the Olympic. The only one for now. For now. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. 
Lisa. So you're defending the title. Is that is that more difficult than going and getting it first time round? Do you think? Um, I don't know yet until I get there. Um, <clears throat> just gonna go over there and enjoy it. Do you know? It will be what it will be. That's what that's the way I done it over in Tokyo. So I'm just taking the same type of same type of attitude. Are you still bringing the Hakuna Matata vibes? Yeah, just chilled and. It means no worries just to go out and do a, do what you can do. And try to do your stuff. That's it. All you can do is your best. Uh, how's the training going? Good. While we're here, actually, I'm I'm going to give a shout out to the Irish boxing team. Um, we have eight boxers, eight fantastic boxers, who are over in Milan at the moment, and they've had a really great, positive training camp, and hopefully now they'll bring home the bread and get some qualifications, and they'll be on the plane with us to Paris. <laughs> so Dan, boxers have to worry about the weight. That is something that you don't have to worry about. <laughs> Can you talk us through how many calories a day <laughs> you eat? Yeah, well, you know, we eat about 7,000 calories a day. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. And what does that look like, sort of, in terms of... What food? What yeah, what sort yeah. of food are you having for that? <laughs> a lot of aubergine salad, to be fair. And a lot of chocolate, you know, I'd be surprised. Okay. Is, is that in the same dish? Or... <laughs> no, they're, good, they're a good mix, to be fair. 7,000. <laughs> I mean, do you, do you go all inclusive when you go on holiday? Yeah, yeah definitely. Because definitely. Uh, you've got your brother as well. Your brother's yeah. a swimmer too. Where's, where's Nathan? There's, there's Nathan. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming. Do you guys have wanted posters up whenever you go to hotels? <laughs> Jesus, it's the Whiffin' Brothers! <laughs> Shut the buffet! <laughs> so, you're identical twins, 14,000 calories a day. Yeah. OK. Wow. Heavy food bill, that is, yeah. That is a heavy food bill. <laughs> uh, so, Nathan, you want to go to the Olympics too? Yeah, hopefully. I think my trials are in May, so not too long. So, there's a chance that uh, you get... I'm assuming as twins you, you've pretty much done everything together, have you? Yeah, well, we do everything together. We train together, we live together, we do the same... University course, but, you know, we don't. Maybe the university don't want to know that too bad, but a bit cheating, maybe. Okay, <laughs> that's always good. A bit of, bit of uh, swapping the papers. Do you, do you ever, do you ever <laughs> swap out for for swims or training if somebody can't be can't be arsed? Yeah, well, or... for all you know, I'm actually Nathan right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nathan, you got to tell us about. Uh, the first, the first time you guys, the big swim that you had in Lisbon in, in, in the championships, that didn't go great for one of you. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was our first ever 1500, and uh, they, they said take your marks, and Daniel went in early, yeah. and then I went in straight after. But the rule was whoever goes in first gets disqualified. Mm -hmm. So the first I got race, to swim yeah. and win it, and Daniel didn't. Yeah. <laughs> first race ever did, I've lost. Away. Wow, it's uh, any any sporting disasters like that, Kelly? Or are you clean as a whistle and that type of stuff? Yeah, no, there's yeah, clean as a whistle. There's no, there is no, there's no losses. It's only a loss if you don't learn. So, yeah, no losses. Always learning. Always, Always learning. learning. Uh, mom and dad are here as well. There's mom and dad. Give us a wave, guys. Um, you must be so proud of <coughs> these pair. Uh, the sacrifices that you guys have gone through, because what time in the morning would you have been up at when these kids were at school? About 4.45 in the morning. Okay. Most mornings, what, five, six mornings a week, Saturdays included. It's, we'd sort of go to the pool and then, you know, I would sit there with the other dads or, you know, and sort of look at each other or do a bit of work and it's just, it's what, what swimming parents do. And then after school, back to the pool again? That was me. That, yeah, I, that I, was did, me. I did mornings. <laughs> and I had to prepare dinner for in the car. So we had to be quite creative. And where did you get an aubergine salad and chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? He didn't eat aubergine there. <laughs> uh, he's got notions. He's got notions now. Uh, uh, Kelly, how hard is it, you know, the sacrifices that you have to go through to do this sort of stuff? <laughs> <laughs> She's oh, you, as far from aubergine salad you've ever heard too. 
<laughs> it's, uh, but, but honestly, the, the, the work that goes in. It's, it's incredible, like, and, because people, like, people don't see the behind the scenes work that we do day in, day out, and, like, I can sit here and say, oh, the sacrifices, this, that, and the other, but it's, it's, it's a lot, it is a lot, and there's a lot of uh, expectations on us as well. When you do well, people automatically expect you, like, there's people already saying, like, another gold, and, and people, like, the taxi man uh, asked me, what's the odds in the bookies for me winning gold? Like, that was just on the way in here, like, you know? <laughs> and, like, for me, I hate hearing that, because that's pressure, and I don't need that pressure, you know? I, I love the, the whole rugby campaign that, like, you can believe it, but you just can't say it, you know? And I love that, like, because I, I like being confident. I am confident but I'm quietly confident, you know? I don't have to go around saying, oh, I'm this and I'm that, like, I have confidence, but I keep myself nice and calm and controlled and then just let it be what it will be. You, you've done the famous Olympic speech, which is, this is it. Don't let me near this again. This is gonna be the last one. Are you looking forward to the retirement? I'm like, retire, I'll be retired from international uh, duty, but I'm gonna, do the national championships again because I want to try and get the best record in the boxing, you know, so we'll see. So you want to keep <laughs> going for that? Yeah. And uh, your wife Mandy, how does she feel about all this training? Is she looking forward to, to getting you back? I'd say she's raging because I'll be home more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so much sacrifice, Reese. you know, it, it, it's worth it, I'm assuming, for for the prize at the end. Yeah, well, and then also the journey too. You know, we're in a great position where we get to travel around the world doing what we love, essentially. We, you know, we've all grown up in our sports and we're doing it as our jobs now. And that's a pretty incredible thing to say. But yeah, to the moments where we get these medals wrapped around our necks is when all of those sacrifices, you know, turning down parties, going out and playing football with your friends, uh, sacrificing relationships with, with people in general <coughs> as well, like that, they all pay off in those moments when the medal's going around your, your neck. And I'm, I'm noticing here, you guys have got the, the eye on the prize here, Rhys, you've got the, the Olympic rings on, on your arm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Daniel, you've got, the, you've got yours here as well. It's, is that, does, that, does that help? You have a necklace, Kelly? I got this after the Olympics. Mandy okay. got it for me for Christmas. There you go. <laughs> uh, so this is the, this is how you you focus on the work that you got to do. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. I mean, uh, well, the Olympic task is obviously just a sign to say you've went. And um, I think everybody, especially in our our, go our goals when we we're younger, is just to make that Olympics. And then obviously we're in a position now where we're fighting for a different kind of success and at the Olympics. But uh, it's really. Why everybody's, why every young person's dream is to become an Olympian, and well, I guess we're lucky that we've done it. Um, Reese, you're going into this games in a in a different frame of mind. Uh, you didn't quite get the job done <laughs> last time round. Mm. How much did that hurt? Yeah, of course it hurt. I mean, well, I, I was the first ever Irish gymnast to make an Olympic final, so that was a win. <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> You know, there's no ignoring the fact. There's no ignoring the fact that I, I could have performed better uh, and I could have taken home an Olympic medal. But um, it wasn't to be on that day. Uh, we went back to the gym. We worked harder than ever, and you know that's what produced a two-time world champion as well. Um, so if I if I finish this sport tomorrow, I. I'm one of the most successful gymnasts ever. P please don't so finish it that's tomorrow. That's amazing. Please, 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 please don't finish it tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Kelly, um, I know that you know you're looking beyond, you know, the boxing career. We've we've a little clip here of you uh, singing. We've got a, a wee clip here. What do we think? This maybe has a future.
<laughs> wee bit of Enya there. You can't beat that. We'll be seeing that on the stage soon. <sighs> Who knows? I was going to say, if you're lucky or not, I don't know if you're unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm assuming there's, there's three people here. I, uh, I'm assuming they are family, are, uh, uh, just in behind Daniel's family there. Yeah, yeah. so that's oh. my wife, yeah. Mandy, okay. my brother, Joel, and my coach, Noel. OK, that's good news, because when that singing started, you were either family or the three rudest members of the audience. <laughs> because they were absolutely cracking up there. Uh, Daniel, before we let you go, um, medals or records, what means more to you? Oh, it's a golden question. I don't, uh, well, I guess I said it, golden question. The medals, I think, mean more. Because that's something that you're always going to have. Yeah, I think so. Records are meant to be broken, and uh, medals are forever. OK. Yeah. Well, We are absolutely hoping and praying that uh, you're going to be bringing back some medals. Thanks for, for coming in to see us uh, tonight. PTSB will be supporting all of Team Ireland on the road to Paris. Uh, thanks for coming in to see us. Uh, here's to you making your dreams and our dreams come true in Paris this summer.